2022, you will go down in history as kind of a crappy year. We had the tail end of the pandemic to deal with. Then a few leaders in Russia decided that they had enough of taking it on the chin and decided to start killing people. Supply chain issues continued to plague the world, partly because the leaders in China are, well, idiots. The world's biggest ever Ponzi scheme came crashing down because you can only pretend that things like stealing and loose morals are really altruism for so long. You're like a constant downer, huh? Heck, we even have celebrities stealing from the homeless. Uh, allegedly. All of this makes me feel blessed that I have a music channel with you, my subscribers, where we can all relax and talk about software and genres and synthesizers and movies. I'm certainly glad that I don't have a news or political channel because that would be depressing. So instead of injecting hate back into the world, let's inject some love and pick some winners and give out some meaningless awards. Who else can help me? There are so many great VSTs that came out this year. I bought a few pianos that are great. I actually want a free piano that is great. Thanks, Simeon. And I bought a bunch of granular synths, but two VSTs easily rose to the top of this category and that is Tapes.01 by The Phono Loop and Echo Rain by Audiofire. I've spent quite a few hours with each of these, and they are both simply amazing. Tapes.01 has so many features, hundreds of noise profiles, hundreds of presets, and you can import your own sounds. It just has a fantastic vibe to it, and I reach for it all the time when I want to blur the lines a bit or add a bit of tape and granular magic. Echo Rain runs in a different vein compared to tapes in that it puts the focus on the particle engine sequencer and hundreds of great convolution reverbs. This all combines into one great sounding instrument. If you are into ambient music at all, then this should be a must buy because it is just so easy to create backing tracks with a few simple tweaks and even just playing octaves and fifths can sound great. Originally I thought that this category was going to be difficult to pick, since almost every instrument that has come out recently pretty much has great sound. In reality it only took me about 15 seconds to come up with the two winners, and that is Ondine by Teletone Audio and Tape Synth by Spitfire and Blank Forms. The quality and processing of the recordings really shines through with both of these instruments. <laughs> great effects that came out this year. Several of these are on my to purchase list, like Granidad from Sugarbytes and Fluid Chord by Pitch Innovations. But for VSTs that I have tested, two make the honorable mention list, and those are EFX Fragments and Cold Fire. Both of these effects are great, and I am constantly pulling them into my EQ chain just to see if they will give me some inspiration, or maybe add a different flavor to a second verse or chorus when writing. Fragments is a granular plugin, and Coldfire has 11 different distortion effects. What makes both of these plugins stand apart from the crowd is the amount of modulation flexibility that you get with each. They both have LFOs, envelopes, and sequencers that you can use to drive different effects parameters, and this just opens up huge possibilities for sound design. And if you chain these together, you can do some really cool things like this. Well, 
while Arturia has hit a number of home runs this year, one company knocked it out of the park, and that is Polyverse with their new plugin, Supermodal. Now, full disclosure, Polyverse gave me a free copy of Supermodal to use and test, and I am part of their beta testing group. However, they have no say in any of my videos. But that said, I am extremely excited about this plugin. It's unique and innovative, especially in a market that is full of reverb and delay clones. Supermodal takes a standard SVF filter and then gives you four modulation slots to mangle your sound. This by itself is really cool, and you can get some nice sounding sweeps and bass wobbles, but that is only half of the plugin. The thing that makes Supermodal stand out is the addition of a second modal filter, which basically lets you impart the sound of another object, like a piano or a block of wood, for instance, on top of your original sound. Here's the really cool part. The modulators give you the ability to not only sweep between the modal and SVF filters, but you can also sweep between different sounds like a block of wood and a bell. This brings in another level of manipulation, and you can get some crazy sounds like this. And this. Polyverse has also paid attention to a lot of small details that really make this plugin shine. Things like being able to lock to an octave on a filter, or using shift, alt, and control functions to easily set levels in the sequencer to fractions or notes, are really helpful and help speed up production. So hats off to Arturia and Polyverse. And if you pick up Supermodal, you might find a few presets from yours truly hidden inside. <gasps> One thing VST owners look forward to with certain pieces of software is free updates. I have two winners in this category, Infiltrator 2 by Devious Machines and UVI's Falcon. I purchased Infiltrator over a year ago and have used it on a number of tracks as just a basic effects package, or to really mangle the sound on vocals or instruments. This year, Devious Machines added a ton of new effects into the mix, bringing the total to 54, and they doubled up on the LFO curves that you can use for each insert effect. Some of the new spectral effects are really cool. And here's the best part, they have over 1,500 presets. All of this combined make Infiltrator pretty much an indispensable plugin for me. Speaking of indispensable plugins, I gotta give it to UVI once again. In 2021, they updated their flagship hybrid synthesizer to version 2.5 with a ton of really sweet arpeggiators and other goodies. This year, version 2.8 added new presets, new arps, a tape mod, which sounds really great, and a bunch of other things too. In fact, there is so much packed into this piece of software that I consider it a must-own VST if you want to do sound design or are serious about synthesis in general, especially because the sound quality of Falcon is in the S category if we are ranking things. Couple this with some of their great libraries like Vintage Vault 4 or Synth Anthology 3, and you have near limitless potential for mangling sound. So a big thank you to both Devious Machines and UVI for not only making fantastic products, but also putting the customer first with all of these great free updates. So that's my take on 2022. For most of the world, real life has been, well, not so great. For musicians though, it's been pretty awesome because we have such a great, creative, and talented community that continues using technology to take us to new levels. Help me, help me. I can't wait to see what's in store for 2023. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe. And if you are new to the channel, check out our awards from 2021. And as always, we will see you on the other side of the mountain.